Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. On today's episode, we're going to talk about 10 guitar players I think you should know. These are people that I follow on Instagram. I did a similar thing probably about six, eight months ago or so. I'm not talking about my go-to channels of my friends like Rhett Schull or Tim Pierce or Keith from 5 Watt World. These are people that I've been listening to over the past year or so. One of the reasons I like doing videos like this is so that I can do my part in helping support and promote other musicians on this channel. These are all great, great players and I've included their names and Instagram handles at the beginning of each clip so that you can follow them. And these are in no particular order. Coming in at number one. What I like about Steven's playing is, beyond this astounding technique and the really huge stretches that he's playing, his lines are so intricate. I've said to him before, he's really like a fusion player disguised as a rock player. You'll see that in this next clip. <laughs> Guitarist number two is one of my favorite to watch. He's hysterically funny and happens to be just an amazing player in many, many styles. Friday night. <laughs> Greg does all the guitar videos for Wildwood Guitars. That's where I first saw him play. And he's got an amazing blooper reel out there, a bunch of them on YouTube that you should definitely check out. Let's hear him play the Toast and Abasi guitar at last year's NAMM show. Check this out. <laughs> Guitarist number three, many of you probably already know since he has a big Instagram channel and a big YouTube channel, and he's one of the biggest guitarists in Japan. Let's check him out. What I really like about Ichika's style is that he uses so many different techniques. It's not just tapping. You'll see in this next clip that he uses the flat part of his hand to play certain notes and then plays bass notes in a different way. It's really, really interesting. Check it out. Guitarist number four is one of my really good friends, and he's just an incredibly great guitarist and improviser. 
He is also one of the most rocking players that you'll ever hear. Check him out. That is, of course, Phil X. Phil plays what I call face-melting solos, like this one. Guitarist number five I've been following for years. His playing is what I would call a mix of modern classical, fusion, rock. It's just really incredibly interesting. He plays some of the most beautiful and intricate lines. Check him out. Tim can play on straight ahead tracks like that, and he can also play with this great feel over more funky grooves. Check it out. Guitarist number six I found out about from my brother John. He sends me a lot of guitar players to check out. It was about a year and a half ago, and he says, oh, this is the best guy that I've heard. And Doug is an amazingly great player and a friend of mine, and he's also a great improviser. Let's check it out. Doug is a really diverse player and he has incredibly good feel. Check out this clip with him playing on a Strat. Guitarist number seven goes by the name Whalenator on Instagram. He is really kind of a neoclassical guitarist and he has one of the most interesting and fluid right hands. Kind of reminiscent of Marty Friedman. Let's check him out. You notice that Keith holds the guitar up near his head and plays in classical guitar position, which allows him to really grab a lot of those long reaches. Let's check this out. Guitarist number eight I found out about through a guitarist that I featured on my channel on what makes this song great, Pliny. Let's check him out.
was Aaron Marshall, founder of the band Intervals. Here he is playing one of his own tunes. <laughs> Guitarist number nine is another player on this list that does things his own way, has his own style, combines multiple techniques to create this really beautiful sound. Let's check him out. In this next piece, Jakob's playing with a capo, really chimey strumming part, but then he intersperses these really fast, intricate runs. Check it out. Rounding out the top 10 is a guitarist that I've been following for a while. I really love her pieces that she comes up with. They're really beautiful, melodic, usually finger-picked pieces. Let's check this out. Yvette has a huge following on Instagram, and I can see why with pieces like this. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're a first time viewer, don't forget to ring the bell. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. I'd like to announce that the new Beato ear training method is available at beatoeartraining.com. Go check it out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. Thanks for watching.